I said in the story on Instagram that how could a woman expect her husband to be her best friend, you know, somebody that appreciates her a lot, when the first thing she asks for for her mahar is $5,000 or more. Understand this? Now, first of all, let me get it out the way. It's absolutely her right to ask for, for whatever she wants. Walillah alhamd. And alhamdulillah for that, because now you know what type of a woman she is when you begin with her, or before you even begin with her, you see the type of woman she is. Walillah alhamd. So, alhamdulillah for that, no problem with that. However, I will say, <coughs> there's two perspectives to look at this situation. Number one, the woman. Number two, the man. Let's look at the woman first. Some women, they'll just not be like this. Some women, they, 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 it's in their nature to always ask for as much as they possibly can. They just have an advantageous, opportunistic nature, and they want to get as much as they can. They have desires that they don't know how to curb or fulfill. They want to live that life of the dunya. This is how they will be, and they will never change unless Allah wills. This is how they are. They're not naturally loving. They, they rather they see things as service. Service. Understand? She, uh, she doesn't. She's not a naturally loving person. She just says, she, you know. She's going to service her husband, service her children, something like that, while she wants to live her own joyous life, etc. I'm not saying this is anything wrong. I'm just saying this is her nature. Understand? This is how she is. And some women are the total opposite. They don't care about money. They don't care about these things. They're responsible themselves. They, they, they study. They work hard themselves. All of these things. They understand the difficulty of money. They understand. Uh, they just they have a charitable nature, a generous, loving nature. Not only in their wealth, but in their personality and their and their uh, their behavior. Sheikh Farid Abdullah, Hafizahullah, he described uh, this type of a woman. Like when she comes around. The air is pleasant, you know, like it's just a pleasant feeling when you're around her because of how magnificent and wonderful and beautiful her character is alone. Alhamd. And some people, and this is a nature, some people will never ever reach this nature. They will never be like this. And, and that's just how it is. This is why the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, he, he dignified, not dignified, but signified or, or made significant marrying who? Al-Walud, Al-Wadud, the, the birth-giving woman and the emphatically loving woman because these are good traits to marry into. Walillah, alhamd. After that, sisters, if you're going to do this, if you're going to like forego your mahar or, or ask for a very low mahar, you have to make sure that man is worth it. Investigate him, investigate him, look through his Facebook, look through his, his Instagram, social media, etc. But uh, however, have some consideration. Like like for this account right here, you guys know that I follow a ton of uh, females, males, whatever it is. It's for me to build the account. I'm not looking at those accounts. I'm really not. Like I either mute the accounts, and if the account is um, too uh, preposterous, ridiculous, I'll unfollow that account, you know? So that's just how it is. So investigate, but don't, don't like, oh look, done. You know, he, he's with a woman. You don't know that woman is his sister, his mom, his, his aunt, something like this, that he's mahram to. So investigate and ask about it, you know, and ask kindly about it. Don't ask in like you're, you're interrogating or try to figure it out from somebody else, you know. You know, you, you always, you don't want to, you don't want to make yourself to seem like this is how you're going to be the entire marriage. You're just investigating him the entire marriage. It's a horrible thing to go through. May Allah protect us. Nevertheless, th there's no um, like a formula to follow to find excellence in the outcome of this situation. Understand? You just have to ask Allah for help and do your best. Barakallahu feekum wa jazakumallahu khairan. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. Subhan Maybe I did, but I don't, I don't it doesn't matter. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdaka shirwa la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. I do remember something. For, I can only speak for myself, right? I can, I'm not going to speak on behalf of every single man, Muslim man. May Allah bless all of us. May Allah forgive all of us. For me, like, the, and I've been through this. Once a woman, she asked me for a large mahar, $5,000 or more, my heart just sinks. Like, I feel like, ah, oh, she's not the one. <laughs> she's not the one. Because if I get married to a woman, and she's really like my, she's really somebody that is, you know, appreciative of me and loving of me, she's my baby. And anybody knows, like, you know, if you treat your spouse like your baby, like, you, know, you, get, you get that concept. You'll do anything for her. You'll buy anything for her within your ability. Understand? You'll 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 move mountains for her, <laughs> to, metaphorically speaking, right? If 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 you see her that way, understand this. So I'm chewing gum. <laughs> so you just have to think about these things, right? Think about it and understand it. I remember one thing: a sister, an Albanian sister. Uh, may Allah sustain her. 
uh, she said this on Instagram, and she's married, she has kids and everything, at least, to the, this was years ago, this is years ago, years ago, maybe like four or five years ago, more than that, uh, and um, I don't know how her, how her life is or anything like that, and I have to say these things because people don't have husband done, people don't think well of other people, unfortunately, she says something on Instagram, she says, why do you ask your husband for such a, or potential husband for such a ridiculous mahar, he's going to be sheltering you, taking care of you, He's going to be paying taxes, paying bills, where well, you don't have to worry about any of these things. He's going to make sure you have food. He's going to raise your children, make sure your children has edu has education, right? And you don't have to worry about the, the the finance for any of these things. He's going to baby you. He's going to take care of you. He's going to take you out. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. He's going to do the third. He most likely might pay for your hajj and umrah. Why do you make it so difficult with him with the mahar? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. I ask Allah to bless all of us, righteous, loving, compatible, uh, appreciative, you know, have God fearing, having taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, spouses. I mean, now I'm finished. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shura wa la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. I'm sorry, I feel like a complete failure. I I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> I wanted to make an analogy. Let's say you sister, let's say you meet another sister at the masjid or something like this and you guys talk for like 10-15 minutes and, and you realize you guys can be great friends. And then that sister, you know, before leaving you, she says to you, oh, can I borrow uh, two, three, four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars? Like at that point, you don't know what her intentions are, right? <laughs> like you get my point? This is how I feel. Like I, I, I'll talk to the sister for like 10-15 minutes, everything is great, everything is good. And next thing you know, she wants 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 uh, Hajj, which is another 10,000 Umrah, which is over 20,000 uh, uh, Hijra, excuse me, Hijra would be like, you know, spending thousands and thousands of dollars moving to a Muslim country, etc. My heart falls, my heart, my heart like sinks. So I'm looking at that, at that analogy. You meet somebody as a friend. And everything goes well, you know, the first time you're meeting them, you know nothing about them. You watch the, the listen to the same speakers or whatever it is. You, you listen to the, you have you have um, a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Things in common, right? And, and you know, you think, oh, I found a really good friend now. And before leaving, before, you know, at one point in the conversation, they ask you to borrow a lot of money. You know, it's like now you, you question their intention, you know. Am I being set up? Is this person sincere? Is this person this and that and the third, right? So that's how I feel sometimes. <clears throat> May Allah guide us. May Allah guide us and forgive us. May Allah increase us in beneficial knowledge. May Allah uh, bless us with the good of this dunya and the uh, hereafter. Barakallahu fikum wa jazakum Allah khairan. Now, hopefully this is the end. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shira wa la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Barakallahu fikum.